usually when I do it the best. Hi, this is Ghost Southern MD. Today I'm going to be talking about a continuous flow portable and how to get this up to over 5 liters per minute at a continuous flow. And I'm training one of uh, my newly hired employees about oxygen. So I figured I'm going to show the world how oxygen works and how to administer pure oxygen or not really pure but it's oxygen um, medical grade oxygen I was showing her the sieve bed earlier and this is what's inside this machine this is how we actually create from 21 percent oxygen in the air to around 90 93 percent purity okay and I did show her how this works if you any have any questions about how a concentrator works please contact us at 855 528-2539 and ask for Robert. But this is what it looks like inside the machine. What I was explaining to one of my employees here is that it's very important to understand the smaller you get this, the harder it is to create pure oxygen. And that's why the smaller portable machines um, do not create a continuous flow of oxygen and it's got to do a pulse flow. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you the differences between the two, and then I'm going to show you a new concept on how we can get a portable machine over 5 liters per minute. Okay? So we have one of my employees. She is administering oxygen. She has it, and she's taking it right now. How's it working out for you? And one way you can tell if it's oxygen grade, if it's uh, medical grade oxygen, is it's very cool. Is the oxygen very cool right now? It's very cool. Okay, and it's a continuous flow, correct? It is continuous. Okay. This is set at 3 liters per minute, which is the max for this particular unit. This is an Eclipse. This is a second generation. This is not the third generation, which we provide on our website. You can obviously turn this down. And when you turn it down, the sieve bed or the compressor is not going to be working as hard. Okay? That's what um, allows the battery, because uh, this is a battery-powered portable concentrator and that's going to allow the battery which is right there to last longer so what we're going to do now is we're going to put it on pulse I'm going to hit this button you ready okay so there every time that it blinks green it's giving her a pulse dose of pure oxygen you see what I'm saying now when you're talking about a pulse dose it can't be perfect. It tries, but it, it tries to time when you breathe in. And the reason why people need a continuous flow is because they're still not going to be getting 100% of that pulse. Are you follow me? Yes. Okay. You can try to hold your breath, and it, it'll actually sense. It's pretty cool how it works. All right? And this is... Do what? Do you see that? And then you can breathe. It, everyone has a timing variation of when they breathe, like 4 to 1, 6 to 1. This is why it's important to understand that you cannot do this on a pulse setting if you have a CPAP. It can't read it because it bleeds through a CPAP. You have to have a continuous flow. This is why when people go um, to hotels and they're traveling and they want uh, a... Uh, a uh, portable machine because they don't want to take their stationary eclipses and things that do both really are really helpful because they cannot be on a pulse dose when they're sleeping okay um, not to mention that you know the pulse dose is important also when you're trying to conserve oxygen because you don't breathe in or you don't need oxygen when you breathe out that's self-explanatory okay so what we're going to do is we're going to give one of our employees here a new way to administer more oxygen. Okay, And I know I've talked about this on my website. This is the pendant style. Okay, And I'm going to hook it up and you're, going to, you're just going to hold it up. Okay. okay, this is it. This is how it works. Okay, what she's going to do is she's going to put it around just like you had that one around. Go, go ahead and put it on, please. And this is going to double when you put it on continuous flow 
because it does not work on a pulse. Same thing. There you go. Okay, so what's going to happen is when she breathes out, this is going to fill with pure oxygen. And then when she breathes in, it's going to hold it. And this allows her to take a machine that only goes to 3 liters per minute and gets it up to 5. Another cool thing, too, is when you're traveling with these machines that are continuous flow, you are able to conserve the battery. You can actually turn this down to 1 liter per minute and still get 2.5 to 3 liters. Okay? So, when you have this thing set at 3, it's going to cut your battery time in half. And if you need a variation of it's just a basic math principle. Um, I can certainly help you out. You can contact us at 855-528-2539, and I will gladly uh, do the, com uh, the computing and tell you exactly what you need to set it at based on your prescription. But I'm really glad I was able to do this today for you uh, and um, able to illustrate how to effectively administer oxygen with a... Uh, um, what we call a transportable concentrator machine uh, versus a smaller pulse dose machine like the Sequoia, like the um, sorry, the Aircept or the Evergo. This machine can actually get it over five liters per minute by taking one of these and using this instead of a standard cannula, which is what we see here. Okay. If you have any more questions, you can call us back at 855-528-2539, extension 10. My name's Robert. I'll be able to help you. Thanks for your time.